So we're playing around with the latest release from E Instruments, and it's called Desolate Guitars. This is their first guitar contact library. And they absolutely knocked it out of the park with this. It sounds amazing. So E Instruments, uh, you're probably familiar with them from their releases such as Session Piano, Session Strings, uh, Valves, really, really good contact libraries, a lot that are included in the Native Instruments Complete packages. Let's do a quick rundown of what the main GUI looks like. Here is where you're gonna select from your main presets. You got the four categories, sustains and mutes are gonna be your single notes, chords are obviously chords, swells, and specials, which has some really cool sounds in it, including some feedback, tremolo played guitars, and some unique sound design textures. At the bottom of the page, we have the blend between the two different amps. Within those, you can also pan them. So if you wanted to go hard left and right on the amps, you can do that. We have the tremolo section, which will sync to the speed if you wanted to. You have the intensity here that you can blend. And clicking this will open up the option between the five different wave shapes that you can choose for some different modeled tremolo. Then we have the spring reverb blend. And I really want to emphasize the fact that the spring reverb was recorded. These are not impulse responses. This is the true, true sound of the spring reverbs from these amps. And finally, we have the effects blend here. When you click the three dots, it opens up the effects chain, uh, which there are presets that you can choose from. So if you find one of the sounds that you like, but you want to switch the presets, you could do that. Or you can just straight up switch each individual slot yourself. Actually, I want to test something here that I haven't done yet. Can you just, yes, you can switch up the way the chain is set up. And I want to see, I think you should be able to, because there are two reverbs here. So can we just put like, all the reverbs on okay so we got room algorithm digital and hall let's crank up the spring reverb uh put this up dear god pray for me oh boy that's beefy let's say we have that chime guitar but we want dark crunch Going back to the sustain and mutes, the mod wheel, which I'm controlling with my expression pedal here, it's gonna control the articulation, so blending between open and muted. Versus going over into the chords, it's gonna switch between minor and major chord. So if I wanted to play a chord progression in C sharp minor, I would start in the minor section, switch it over to major, and then I'll go back down to minor again. Some of the presets will come with a key switch, which is typically gonna be a tremolo bar dive. Gives you that really, really desolate sound. The two amp models were recorded dry and with the spring reverb. There's no impulse responses involved with this, which is part of the reason that you get that really authentic sound. Like, listen to the strum of this chord. This is bone dry. The blend is, I'll put it at 50-50. So we got no tremolo, we got no effects, no spring reverb whatsoever. Now, we want to blend in the spring reverb. Oof. Let's max it out. 
Let's hear how it sounds coming out of the A amp. And the B. The Desolate Chords preset is probably my favorite one to play with. I want to show you something that I don't know if I've ever encountered this before. You know how nine times out of 10 when there's a macro control for the effects on a contact library, I feel like if you were to crank the effects amount all the way to 100%, it ends up distorting or getting some insane amount of reverb and delay. They seem to have made it so that it just doesn't do that. And it's just another thing that makes this incredibly playable. So. I mean, if I wanted to crank the effects all the way up and just play some chords. Like those work so well in cinematic composition. The thing that's really cool about the forward and reverse modulation is that you can start it from reverse if you wanted. Or you can start it from the forward position and then blend into the reverse and have it come in later. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the feedback swells. What are you doing to me here? Like that is brilliant sound design there. Kudos to you guys. How about some mellow swells? Oh, dude. You want some tremolo in there? All in all, it is a pretty particular sound especially given the two amps and the guitars that they use to record it, but 
can be used in a lot of different applications, whether that just be for the effects or some really clean, nice sounding guitar. So my final take on this is exactly what the slogan is. It's authenticity means instant playability. And this has kind of switched my mindset as to what I consider to be a great contact library because there's no fluff in this. It's a very specific sound and there isn't an overabundance of presets. And the presets that they do have, you know easily how to design your own sounds out of it. Like there's, I feel like less is more when it comes to some of these contact libraries. I'm not afraid to use this now that I've played with it, spent some time with it. I know what sounds are in it. And I can already imagine the different ways that I can tweak it to get different sounds. I don't have to spend hours and hours using this to understand it. The question I always have is, where do I see myself using this? Does it just sound good or is it something that I'm gonna use it in? Now, the question at the end of the day for you and for me even when I choose to review products and when I don't is, can I see myself actually using this in my projects? And uh, I could definitely use it to overdub certain guitar parts. Instantly, what I pictured when I started playing with this is just using this because it's a really dark and ominous sound. If you want it to be, it could be clean and bright too if you wanted it to. I can picture putting these over top of some of those like, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The cyberpunk bass lines, the real dark, apocalyptic sounding stuff. So I'm gonna toy around with some of that. This is the end.